you would like to lose weight without ever having to count calories, portions, or anything else and eat without restriction, then the 50-50 plate method might be exactly right for you. The 50-50 plate method is a way of thinking about your food from a caloric density and a visual standpoint. The idea is to have each plate made up of 50% non-starchy vegetables and 50% minimally processed starchy vegetables. All of these foods are very low in calorie density while being high in nutritional content. And most importantly, they are satisfying and filling. So when we eat these foods, we feel content and we can get full up quite easily. It's important to remember that this is just a visual way of looking at your foods, not necessarily having to weigh anything out. So while eating the 50-50 plate method and having the starch solution lifestyle, there are some foods that you want to completely avoid, let go of and leave in the past. These definitely are all animal products. We don't need them, we can live without them and they are not healthy foods. Also, oils and fats. They are high, high, high in calorie density. And again, you don't need them in your diet. So leaving those behind and learning ways to cook without oils and fats is the way to go. Also, nuts, seeds and avocados should be avoided if you are looking to do the maximum weight loss 50-50 plate method, um, especially if you only have maybe five or 10 pounds left to lose and you are finding those hard to budge, then dropping out the nuts, seeds and avocados might be the way to go. If, however, you are looking to maintain your weight or lose your weight in a more slowly and gradual process, or you have lots and lots and lots of weight to lose, having minimal amounts of nuts, seeds and avocado can be absolutely fine for you. It really depends on an individual basis. So to make your food more tantalizing, exciting, full of flavor, obviously we need to make sure that we're using lots of condiments on our foods because if we're just eating the fruits, vegetables and starchy grains and legumes, we need ways to mix them up to make sure that they are really satisfying and keep us coming back for more. So all herbs and spices are absolutely brilliant to use on the starch solution 50-50 plate method. Anything in your spice cupboard, go for it. Use those in abundance. Really get to grips with your spice cupboard and how to incorporate different combinations of spices to achieve different kinds of flavours and methods with cooking. A little salt is definitely allowed, though some people do choose to be salt free for many different other reasons. But a little salt is definitely allowed and it can certainly improve the flavour of some vegetables. So a little salt is allowed. I have a little salt in my diet and I don't think that's causing me any problems. Again, it really depends on the individual and some people do like to leave salt completely out of their diet and they go SOS, which is salt and oil and sugar free. If you haven't ever tried nutritional yeast, I really recommend you get some. It's a brilliant food for adding a nice flavour. It's an umami flavour. It gives a nice cheesy flavour to certain foods. It can be uh, enriched with vitamin B12 if you buy the ones that are. It's high in protein and it's just a really unique and lovely flavour. But when I very first tried nutritional yeast, I actually didn't even really like it. Give it a go. Give it a go. It might work on you as time goes by. Now I absolutely love it and I can just have it sprinkled on pretty much anything and I love the stuff. But if on your very first try you think, oh, I'm not too sure, my advice is to give it another go. Give it another few goes, actually. So to really add depth and umami flavours to your savoury meals, use things like soy sauce, liquid aminos, liquid smoke, marmite, vegemite, mushroom seasoning, these are just a few of the very many and brilliant things that you can buy inexpensively that really do add that depth and richness to our savoury meals. Maple syrup and date syrup are a great way to add some sweetness to desserts, to um, tray bakes and things, as well as to breakfasts. Just don't overdo it and don't have them all the time every day. Things like chocolate powder, cacao powder, just check on the back that there's no milk added. Uh, cinnamon, these are wonderful things to sprinkle on the top of desserts and pancakes and breakfasts. Have you ever tried the 50-50 plate method? Are you doing it right now? Is it something that you're researching? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you.